In this video, I'm going to introduce you to the MQTT protocol. MQTT stands for MQ Telemetry Transport. It is a nice, lightweight publish and subscribe system where you can publish and receive messages as a client. And it makes it really easy to establish a communication between multiple devices. It is a simple messaging protocol designed for constrained devices and with low bandwidth. So, it's the perfect solution for Internet of Things applications. Here's a quick high-level overview of what MQTT allows you to do. You can send a command to control an output. Or you can read data from a sensor and publish it. In MQTT, there are a few basic concepts that you need to understand. Publish and subscribe, messages, topics, broker. The first concept is the publish and subscribe system. What does that mean? This means that a device can publish messages to your other devices, or your device can subscribe to a particular topic to receive those messages. For example, device 1 publishes on a topic. Device 2 is subscribed to the same topic as device 1 is publishing in. So, device 2 receives the message. Messages are the information that you want to exchange between your devices, whether it's a command or data. With the Publish Subscribe system, you can do pretty much anything you could ever want it in your home automation projects. Another important concept is topics. Topics are the way you register interest for incoming messages, or how you specify where you want to publish your message. Topics are represented with strings separated by slashes. The slashes indicate the topic level. Here's an example on how you would create a topic for a lamp in your home office. Home slash office slash lamp. For example, if you would like to turn on a lamp in your home office, you would publish a message to a topic using Node-RED saying on. And your ESP8266 would be subscribed to that same topic, so it would receive the on message and finally turn on the lamp. Please note that topics are case sensitive, which makes these topics different. You also need to be aware of the term broker. The broker is primarily responsible for receiving all messages filtering the messages, decide who's interested in it, and then publishing the message to all subscribed clients. There are several brokers you can use. We're going to use the Mosquito Broker, which you will install in the Raspberry Pi. In the next units, we will experiment with MQTT and Node-RED to see how everything works in reality with practical examples. Thank you for watching.